And now, your local weather authority forecast. Clouds and rain showers earlier this morning giving way to some peaks of sunshine in Midland and Odessa. This is a live look at Odessa. Later on your Friday morning, a good look at downtown Odessa. Just some high-level clouds off way to our north and east, and some of these clouds thicker and moving higher up in the atmosphere in the form of thunderstorms, and some of these storms producing a punch. Satellite and radar showing those thunderstorms moving northeast of Midland and Odessa for now, moving through Abilene earlier. San Angelo moving through Snyder earlier this morning in La Mesa. They had some pea-sized hailstones here in the basin, just some passing clouds and some very light rain showers in parts of Eddy and Lee counties. Clear skies to our south, all courtesy of this big swirl in the rain, snow and cloud activity in the northern part of the Panhandle of Texas, a low pressure system drifting to the east. More backside rain showers and wet snow showers in the mountains will be ahead. Partly to mostly cloudy right now with the airport in Midland sitting officially at 54 degrees. Pretty mild for this time of the day. 71% relative humidity, good visibility, and pretty calm winds. But those winds will start to pick up a little bit more from the west. We're already starting to see that where conditions are drier west of that rain field, west of that low pressure system, especially near the Guadalupe Pass, the Van Horn region into the Marfa Plateau. Wind sustained 24 miles per hour in Alpine, 24 miles per hour as well in the Van Horn region. Those westerly winds drying things out, but where winds won't be quite as strong in northern and eastern areas of the basin this afternoon, that's where thunderstorms may form. Once again, 15 to 25 mile per hour sustained winds in those blue to yellow colored areas. Partly to mostly cloudy in the afternoon. High temperatures in the high 50s and low 60s in Midland and Odessa, right around 59 by 3 p.m. With drizzle, very cloudy and blustery, meaning cool, humid, and a bit breezy out there. For many in the 50s right now, High 40s and low 50s in northern areas of the basin from the Marfa Plateau to the Rio Grande. High 40s, 50s and low 60s. Conditions a little bit warmer and drier the farther south you go. In places close to Del Rio and Dryden and Terrell County reaching the low 70s. Meanwhile, most areas of the basin reaching the 50s and 60s, 50s and 60s along I-20 today. Some lingering clouds overnight in the 40s. Chilly and humid winds picking up from the north northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So west southwesterly winds switching more from the north and west later today as the slow pressure system departs. But before then, some scattered showers, rumbles of thunder in those yellow and orange red colored areas near La Mesa, Midland, Odessa to Big Spring with partially clearing skies overnight to tomorrow morning. I think most thunderstorms though will be mostly northeast of Midland and Odessa, but light rain showers are possible again later today. Partially clearing skies this weekend, 56 tomorrow, 60 on Sunday overnight low tomorrow night 33 degrees so from cold mornings to cool afternoons ahead take a look at that forecast 50s and 60s for at least the next several days as we'll see lower rain chances and stronger winds by later next week so our best chance of rain mike will be today and we'll take it in my opinion oh anytime anytime uh winter summer i want to see improvement on the drought monitor absolutely so. and uh, that's something that i think we'll see for some all right well glad to hear that Ryan, thank you so much. You know, uh, Ryan has been uh, helping us out on the 5 o'clock show uh, the last week, and we appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. Thanks.